Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the procedures. A uh, patient with an incisional hernia. I'm going to um, reconstruct it with a mesh. Um, anesthesia? Incisi? Yeah. In this brief animation, we demonstrate how we treat the hernia. So once opening the skin, you can see the large defect in the muscle layer. And we treat that with positioning a mesh below the muscle layer. And we use so-called tackers to keep the mesh in place. So the advantage for this um, mesh is that we can uh, go straight down um, directly into the abdominal cavity. We can position the mesh over there instead of uh, preserving the peritoneum. So this is the size of the defect and um, we have the ruler. Um, so this is uh, 15 centimeters and this is about 11. So that uh, means we have to add another 10 centimeters for the complete overlap. Um, and that brings us about 25 21. by 20. So now we're going to position the mesh, preferably uh, without touching the skin. It's not that uh, terrible if it is, but okay. So this is now well positioned. Um, can we have the sorber fix? So you can see the shape of the um, tacker here, which is uh, rotated into the fascia. And we're going to uh, secure the mesh. Uh, maybe we can do a um, hook. Okay. Okay. So we start here. So again, pressure. So uh, this is uh, obviously the final part. We're going to close the skin. You can do it either way with um, sutures uh, or with non-resolvable stitches, but uh, we prefer intercutaneous closing. Okay, excellent. Looks very nice.